Hyundai Instar vs. BYD Seagull. Range, power, features compared. Hey there, EV lovers. Welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for everything electric vehicles. If you're as pumped about the future of transportation as we are, then you've come to the right place. We're here to bring you the latest news, reviews, and tips on all things EV. But before we dive into the electric goodness, we need your help to keep our battery charged. So, if you enjoy what you see, give that subscribe button a little love, hit the like button to show your support, and drop us a comment with your thoughts or questions. We promise, we read every single one of them. BYD's affordable Seagull is taking the world by storm. But Hyundai's new subcompact EV may be even better. The race to bring affordable and actually usable EVs to the market is heating up in Europe, with more and more big automakers rolling up their sleeves and doing everything in their power to launch sub-$25,000 models as soon as possible. Now, two of the biggest carmakers from South Korea and China want to send their best battery-powered urban EVs to Europe to battle local competitors such as the Chinese-built Dacia Spring and French-built Citroën E-C3. Welcome, then, to the specs comparison between the brand-new Hyundai Instar, which was revealed just a couple of days ago, and the BYD Seagull, which has seen massive success in its home country, selling over 200,000 units in its debut year, and has its sights set on the European market starting next year. It's worth noting that neither EV is coming to the United States, soon or probably ever. The US market is dominated by big vehicles and road-tripping machines. These subcompacts for Europe make plenty of sense for customers who live in big cities and rarely need to get out of town or use a rail system when they do. Plus, while Hyundai is having a moment in the US, Harsh new tariffs on Chinese-made cars will keep BYD out for some time. But both the Instar and the Seagull are important machines globally, and they say a lot about where the electric market is headed next, smaller, more affordable, but still high-range and high-tech. We know that BYD is already a powerhouse in the EV world. As good as the Koreans are, do they have what it takes to keep up? Let's find out. Dimensions Both the Instar and the Seagull are categorized as A-segment cars in Europe, but their wheelbases are arguably comparable to vehicles one step above. Think Chevrolet Bolt EV or the defunct gas-powered Ford Fiesta. This means that, even though they have a small footprint, their interior is bigger than you'd expect. With that said, out of the two pint-sized EVs, the Hyundai Instar inches ahead when it comes to size, being longer, taller, and with a more generous wheelbase than its Chinese rival. The Instar also offers a bigger trunk of up to 12.3 cubic feet with the two sliding rear seats in their most forward position. On the other hand, the BYD Seagull is 4 inches wider than its Korean rival, which could help with shoulder room inside. The Hyundai Instar has a length of 150.9 inches, a width of 63.3 inches, and a height of 62 inches. Its wheelbase measures 101.5 inches, and it offers up to 12.3 cubic feet of luggage space. The weight of the Hyundai Instar is not specified. The BYD Seagull has a length of 148.8 inches, a width of 67.5 inches, and a height of 60.6 inches. Its wheelbase measures 98.4 inches, and it weighs between 2,557 and 2,733 pounds. The luggage space in the BYD Seagull is 10.5 cubic feet. Battery and range. Driving range is one of the most, if not the most important figures prospective customers look at when researching EVs. But in the car world, it depends on what market you're looking at, as you might stumble across some impressive, but rather unrealistic numbers. Case in point, the BYD Seagull has a maximum advertised range of 252 miles on a full charge, but that's on the very lenient Chinese test cycle which is known to produce figures that are nearly impossible to reach in the real world. That said, the WLTP ratings for the Hyundai Instar aren't exactly real-world material either, but they're a bit closer to what one might expect on the road. Looking at the battery capacity figures might be a better metric to understand how far a car could go on a full charge. The BYD Seagull can be specced with either a 30 kilowatt hours or a 39 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate (LFB) battery pack rated at roughly 400 volts, whereas the Hyundai Instar is offered with a 42 kilowatt hours or a 49 kilowatt hour nickel manganese cobalt (NMC) unit rated between 266V 310V. In theory, the Instar should offer more driving range in the real world with Hyundai quoting a projected WLTP rating of up to 220 miles for the long-range version with 15-inch wheels. The Hyundai Instar offers two battery capacity options, 42 kWh, standard, and 49 kWh, long-range. The nominal voltage is 266V for the standard version and 310V for the long-range version. The projected range for the long-range version with 15-inch wheels is 220 miles, according to the WLTP standard. 
The projected energy consumption is 4.06 miles per kilowatt hour, also based on the WLTP standard. For DC fast charging, the battery can be charged from 10% to 80% in 30 minutes. The AC charging rate is 11 kilowatts, with the long range version taking 4 hours and 35 minutes and the standard version taking 4 hours to fully charge. The BYD Seagull has two battery capacity options, 30.08 kilowatt hours and 38.88 kilowatt hours with a nominal voltage of 403V. The range varies from 190 miles to 252 miles according to the CLTC standard. The energy consumption is 6.82 miles per kilowatt hour based on the CLTC standard. For DC fast charging, the battery can be charged from 30% to 80% in 30 minutes. The AC charging rate is 6.6 .6 kilowatts. Performance. When talking about affordable city cars, you can't expect supercar-like performance specs and it's no different with the two pint-sized EVs. You rarely, if ever, need to sprint to 60 miles per hour in an urban area, but if numbers make or break your day, you should know that the Instar beats the Seagull once again, with a 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint in 10.6 seconds for the long-range version, which comes with a 95 horsepower front motor. By contrast, the 74 horsepower BYD needs 13 seconds to get to 62. In the top speed department, Hyundai's entry-level EV again comes up on top, with up to 93 miles per hour for the long-range version. The Hyundai Instar is a front-wheel drive, FWD, vehicle available in two power options, 95 horsepower for the standard version and 113 horsepower for the long-range version. Both versions have a torque of 108 lbfd. The standard version accelerates from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 11.7 seconds and has a maximum speed of 87 miles per hour while the long-range version accelerates in 10.6 seconds and reaches a maximum speed of 93 miles per hour. The BYD Seagull is also a front-wheel drive, FWD vehicle with 74 horsepower and 99 lbft of torque. It accelerates from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 13 seconds and has a maximum speed of 81 miles per hour. Features Nowadays, customers want more of everything, even when looking at budget EVs. This means that the driving range isn't the only deciding factor and that a car needs to have a healthy list of amenities to attract prospective buyers. On paper, the Hyundai Instar gets ahead of the BYD Seagull once again. The Korean EV boasts two 10.25-inch screens, a heat pump, a wireless smartphone charger, vehicle to load, and a comprehensive advanced driving assistance systems list as standard. By comparison, the China market BYD Seagull doesn't have V2L or a heat pump in its home market. Furthermore, the Seagull has a single 10.1-inch central display for the infotainment, and only the most expensive trim offers a wireless smartphone charger. Both EVs have a foldable rear bench, but the Instars can be split 50-50, while the Seagull's is a single backrest. That said, it's unclear at the moment if the European version will carry over the Chinese version's trim levels. At home, the Seagull starts at the equivalent of roughly $12,000, while the European version is expected to cost double, but that includes the value-added tax, VAT, and import tariffs. The Hyundai Instar comes equipped with vehicle to load, V2L, capability, and includes a wireless smartphone charger as standard. It features dual 10.25 inch screens, seats four passengers, and is equipped with both air conditioning and a heat pump. The BYD Seagull does not have vehicle to load, V2L, capability. It offers a wireless smartphone charger, though it is not standard on all models. The Seagull features a 7 inch digital gauge cluster and a 10.1-inch rotating infotainment screen. It also seats four passengers and includes air conditioning but does not have a heat pump. Price The cheapest new EV on sale in the European Union is probably the refreshed Dacia Spring, which starts at around €16,000, $17,200. For this kind of money, you get a no-frills urban runabout with just 44 horsepower and a WLTP range of about 140 miles. With that said, both Hyundai and BYD will likely aim toward a slightly higher price segment once the Instar and Seagull hit European streets later this year and early next year, respectively. Neither the Seagull nor the Instar have official pricing, but company officials went on record saying that the sweet spot would be somewhere around the €20,000 $21,500 mark. That would be 25% more than the Dacia Spring, but looking at the spec sheets of all three cars, the Spring is the most basic one out of the bunch with the least powerful electric motor and the least driving range. On the other hand, it comes with a frunk, which neither the Instar nor the Seagull have, and vehicle to load. Which car is destined to be the real winner in the EV subcompact space? Let us know what you think. The estimated starting price for the Hyundai Instar in Europe is €20,000, 
which is approximately $21,500. Similarly, the BYD Seagull is also estimated to start at €20,000, or around $21,500. And that's a wrap for today's episode of EVpedia. We hope you had as much fun as we did exploring the world of electric vehicles. Remember, your likes, subscribes, and comments are the sparks that keep our motor running. So, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.